Hi, I'm Sonia, and welcome to yet another video. Today, we're going to be learning how to make a simple plan to get. If you know you haven't subscribed, please just subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that when next I post, you can see the video. Welcome. Okay, fine, I'm gonna end it tonight. Something toxic holding on to me for dear life. To draft the pencil skirt, you need the skirt lens, you need the hip measurement, the waist measurement, the round under hip measurement. So guys, the length of this skirt is 28 inches. The reason why I'm not starting from the beginning of the tape is because I'm going to add, I'm be adding this pencil part as a down part of a gown. I have the tutorial of how to make a crisscross neckline the last video I posted. So, um, so that's why I'm starting from the half length, but the length of this pencil skirt is 28 inches. So I'm going to mark the length across fabric like this. And then when I'm done, I'm going to use my ruler to um, connect it on a straight line. After connecting, I'm going to start marking my hip line. My hip line, I'm going to be using 9 inches. What I do is if the hip is a bit big, it's bigger than 42 inches, I use 9 inches. If it's less, I use 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 9 inches across. It's not a, a given principle, but I use it and it works very well for me. So now I connected it on a straight line with my ruler and then I'll go ahead and mark the under hip. Also, for the under hip, I take about 9 to 10 inches, depending on how tall the person is. From the hip measure, hip line to the under hip, I take from 9 to 10 inches. Here, I use 10 inches and I'm connecting it with my straight ruler. So, the first line was the waistline, second, the hip line, the third line is the under hip line. So, next, I'm going to start um, marking is my, my vertical measurement. My waist measurement, I divide it by four and add two to three inches allowance. This three inches allowance is for the sake of our darts. So that when you hold your darts, you don't become stranded. And then my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches allowance. Please let it not exceed two inches so it does not become unbalanced and too, um, too bulky at the side. So, um, divided by four plus two inches allowance. Then my round under hip measurement, I'm going to divide it by four plus two inches allowance and at the bottom part which is my full length of this skirt i will still take my round hip measurement divided by four plus two inches allowance so um after marking it i'm going to take my curved ruler and then i'll start connecting all of them together i hope you understand please do like share subscribe and uh, drop a comment just say hi and i'm glad to have you here thank you so much so I just felt a nudge to explain what a round on the hip is. So those days when we're learning how to sew, they will tell you to use um, the waist measurement to um, put under the hip. You use the waist measurement, add like two inches to it and all that. I measure and I advise you to measure. Just as that, this image is standing here, the way the image is standing, take your tape at that place that is measured black, put your tape around there. Make sure the person is not closing her leg. Her leg is not closed and it's not too open. Just the way she stands when she is very comfortable take your tape around there under the hips and you get a perfect round under hip measurement whereby the person can walk the person can climb by can do whatever thing they want to do at this point i'm already cutting out the front part of the skirt and then from there we're going to be cutting out the back part of the skirt so i have my back um fabric folded into two as well then i measured two inches for zipper allowance and i um, i drew a straight line across like that so now what i'm going to do is to bring in the first the front pattern of the skirt and then i'll place it on this i'm just where i'm placing it now i'm going to place it and then from there i'm going to just trace out the other part so the difference between the front and the back is the zipper allowance For stability, I use the pin to pin it down so that it doesn't move when I start cutting it. So I went ahead to pick up my scissors and started cutting it. Thank you so much for coming this far. It really means a lot to me. Please do subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And drop a comment. Say hi. Say hello. Let's, let, let me meet you on, in the comment section. Thank you so much. And um, like. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.